Hello friend good morning good afternoon good evening so this is uh, uh, you know another discussion about the how to choose the best engineering branch right and which is suitable for you and uh, i have created covered you know video about how to choose the best college so let's start this one so you know these are basically few tips you know which will help you to decide upon the good branch which is uh, for you right and not go ahead with the, uh, what others are saying right so first dilemma is you know which we should give importance to branch or college right so i will say that both are important college is also important and the branch is important and everybody of us wants to study always in the best college right so college is the important but at the same time we get into you know confusion you know sometime where both are not available and we have to choose between one of them right and uh, we are ready to do some sacrifices in terms of you know selecting so i will say you know first start with the college and consider you know the colleges which have good uh, credentials right you know we should go for the college's web website if possible check their accreditation status their past performance placements teaching faculty and infrastructure and you know my, my reviews as well as other you know youtubers review will help you on that you do, do so you don't need to take an you know, additional effort to that only placements are missing in some of the uh, you know reviews so you can check the placement re review specifically but there is importance to infrastructure teaching and every aspect of it including accreditations the second part of it you know once you are convinced with good set of college not on the final college but good set of college you stick to your interest right based on your you know don't get compelled by your peers or parents decision to take a particular branch or just don't see the future scope right also uh, you should understand what are you good at right so i have explained in many of the videos you know a lot of computer science branches are mathematical based right a lot of electronics and electrical sciences are physics based right so based on your interest and how good you know or no you are comfortable with subjects which are involved you should be selecting the branch and third is you know look beyond four years you should not always think that in a branch which you know which will take you up to the four years but your whole part you know career right so you should think that you know a lot of people will do post graduation in terms of mtech or a masters in other countries or they will go for mba right so the, those there are a lot of priorities which will happen with you or you will going to go for the government job right so in those cases select the evergreen branches and not the one which is going on right so let me start with the, you know the prioritizing how you can prioritize it and help you on selecting the branch so the first priority you know if, if you see the from the placement perspective and the where the world is moving towards is the computer science right and then all the different variations of computer science and i have explained and i will explain also in this video the different variations and what they cover or what they don't cover and so computer science is the one information science it's also known as it in other part of the country so information sign isc or it it is called and then aiml branch then there is an aids branch there is a cyber security branch there is a cloud computing branch so there are a lot of variations of this branch and a lot of colleges are now almost offering all of these courses this should be the priority one and then there should be conf confusion in the mind that which of this is better what each of these special you know sub specializations of computer software so you listen to this part of the commentary and after that i am going to cover other branches to to the to five to six options right so let's first understand the difference and similarities in it sir same set of companies which will allow all the branches right so it's it will not just allow computer science it will allow all the branches the students who are taking computer science right you, as you understand that gets filled early right and it is on the development of the skills by students so it is you know most of the times the computer science csc students develop more higher skills than the students of the same college but taking in artificial intelligence because there may be a ranking between the uh, cutoffs and there may be difference between the students right but so because of that you may see a lot of time csc students getting highest salary rather than isc or the artificial intelligence but it is not entirely true anybody can get the highest salary be it information science or artificial intelligence it's more towards the development of the skills so what is required by the you know passing the interview if it's say amazon or adobe where we have four five rounds of interview you have to show showcase skills across you know you know your mathematical ability your verbal and your programming skills and then your overall how you carry yourself right so then you get the highest salaries so all the branches are similar 78 70 to 80% is common let me show you that what is common so if you see from the computer science itself artificial intelligence 
is there in the computer science right and artificial intelligence is also there in information science and the same artificial intelligence is also there part of the artificial intelligence and machine learning because that is the main focus area of aml branch right so that is a common subject now now, now next you see right blockchain blockchain is common between all the study right so because this is the application of the it services and is the fastest moving in of this then data analytics right if you see it is there in the computer science it is there in the info uh, information science also right and data analytics is also there part of you know artificial intelligence but with the name of data science with python right but since this aiml will is not much focus on data it will have initial concept of data with respect to data sciences but what it will not uh, you know uh, will have a complete end to end data sciences that will be in a different branch called artificial intelligence and data, data sciences where you will call ai and ds right so even this data is also common between these three branches if you see machine learning which is the fourth area in computer science same machine learning you know you can see in the machine learning also of you know artificial intelligence and machine learning right and that machine learning is missing in the information science because that is not the focus area of uh, you know artificial intelligence is there but machine learning is not there in information science next uh, after the fifth one is data sciences in the computer same data science you see information in the information science also and similar data science is the last line out of the of your artificial intelligence and machine learning so the fourth one is, um, uh, is fifth one is also common now what you see difference in computers is the networking skill right which is your hardware part of the skills so this networking skill is also there in your ece electron Electronics and communication, but that networking is not there in information science, and that networking is not there in AIML. So, lot of students who basically study uh, networking also has a good you know uh, skill sets across you know products or the hardware uh, you know components, right? So, which is common with ECE, but not their information. So, that is the biggest difference. So, in spite of networking, what is there additional in information science is a web technologies, and application is the focus area in information science application development. application maintenance so that's why you see the uh, web technologies in uh, information science so, uh, so and and this uh, same you know uh, networking is uh, there in uh, you know uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning but that is not a co core networking but that is so called a neural networks or the deep you know learning networking you know which we require there the next branch you see is the big data so big data is there in computer science big data is also there in com information science if you go into aml it will be like your deep learning right because there the it depend it is you know all on algorithm and the models right aml so there you call it as a deep learning with keras and tensor flow which you can see so almost similar skill sets that if you see in uh, computer science there is a cyber security but which is not there in the uh, information science and which is also not there in uh, the artificial intelligence and machine learning so networking and security are the two things which are there in computer science branch which that's why it is in highest demand and so now let's move to the second best choice so second best choice and the third best choice i have clubbed together so second best choice which students can have is basically ece which is electronics and com 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 communications engineering and then there there are variations of ece branch which are like in electronics and tele telecommunication branch you will see in some colleges electronics and computer branch at e so those are some of the variations and all those are quite good and that should be the second preference and third preference will be triple e branch which is electronics and electrical engineering right and there also there are multiple variations like so if you see ece is more about the electronic devices right and one important thing about you know is a uh, lot of times you compare it with csc but csc is more about software development so if you see to study ec uh, electronics or you know where you have a devices you know components and other parts you need to be good at your physics right it's a physics bit but if you see computer science it's more towards the maths based application of common electronics and communication job responsibilities which you do evaluate in electronic systems application designing you do you also do electronics device circuits communication equipments like you know transmitter receiver ic circuits and all so where do you actually get the opportunity the first area you get the job opportunities is in the world of electronics so you know everywhere electric electronic gadgets are there since this is also a branch related with communication so you see the second area where you will get job is the network communication and even the today's cloud computing and the digital communication is all based on networks so this is the second area you will get job the third opportunity area is the whole of telecom sector right because it has a communication part of it and you see the smartphones you see the portable connectivity devices all growing in this generation right 
you see 4G, 5G and all going to that level. And then the most important one, you will also get the job in the IT sector, you know, 70 to 80 percent of electronics engineers also get job in IT sectors where they have work on the VLSI and the other uh, top notch concepts, right? And even the electronics engineer with the knowledge of robotics and machine learning, this is also one of the bigger area where electronics engineer will get opportunity, right? Another best area, right, where electronics uh, ECE students get, uh, you know, placed is the public sector opportunities, right? So a lot of them uh, appear for gate examination and with the gate scorecard itself, you can get job in the public sector or the PSUs of India, right? So you can check, you know, all of this BHL, Bharat Heavy Electricals or HPCL, DRDO, you know, National Power Corporation, SAIL, BARC, Power Grid and many more such you know public sector units takes a lot of electronic students based on the gate scorecard or through direct recruitment so you have opportunity to work in the government uh, job also even the areas like you know banking companies banks your irrigation you know all those abstract services field also you know, companies also take electronic students so now after you know computer science cse and ece the third best option students can have is triple e which is electronics and electrical engineering and and it has seen a good placements in lot of good companies with siemens bosch and lot of other you know infrastructures and other infrastructure based companies as well as the government job it has good potential and there is also a variation of this branch called computer engineering so computer engineering is basically a mix of uh, you know computer networks plus uh, you know electrical engineering the, the branch name is called computer engineering but it's actually nothing but a variation of electrical engineering branch it's electrical plus computer and which is in uh, good branch we can you can take right so that's all i have to cover for triple e you can go definitely go in some good colleges and then the fourth option is double e which is electrical engineering so this one which doesn't have any of you know uh, electronics or the computer component so those with a base back background branch which is there in most engineering colleges in india and this is called can, can we call a traditional branch then the fifth best option for students is the mechanical engineering and the variations of the mechanical engineering so you have an automobile engineering you have production engineering you have industrial engineering and lot of variations in different colleges right so this is the fifth best option for students to take and uh, one of the best variation of this branch is basically robotics and automation, right? So robotics and automation is a good branch which students can take. And there is another variation of mechanical plus electronics, which is called mechatronics, right? So those two are the new branches in this area, which can also be taken by students. But depending on good college, there should be a decent placement record as and then there are other branches of engineering which are like aerospace engineering, aeronautical engineering. So these are specialized branches and can be taken by students who are who have very good interest in these branches and they see the college which have a decent placement to cover that, right? So this is the branch which students can take and then there are other branches like chemical engineering which are interest specific and if you have interest in chemistry and the then and surrounding branches like metallurgy mining are specific to chemical chemistry field of studies right and uh, job profile so you can take that if you have a good interest and again the students have interest in the biological and technology field mix they can go for the biotechnology engineering and uh, there is a variation of biotechnology engineering called biomedical engineering which is basically study of the medical devices and uh, it's also a good option for students who have a keen interest to pursue career in those fields and at last you know the based on the interest student can also pursue career in the civil engineering uh, branches and uh, they can pursue uh, higher studies as well as in structural engineering uh, or the architecture fields right so so those are the 10 options which i have given you for uh, the different variations of the engineering branches hope that was useful and thanks for watching and please do subscribe this channel to get similar updates on engineering fields which are placement review college review and kct comet k and other updates take care bye